All right. Here we have another washed up league game, also from Group G semifinals. This time it's going to be Eugene in the bottom left, the red undead. Against in the top right, the blue night elf, Lion, who has changed his name to Moon and Dino recently. And from the looks of it, Lion is going standard. Not sure if Demon Hunter or Keeper, possibly even Warden. And Eugene going with a Ghoul Opener, Alter Crypt. Likely Death Knight. Probably planning to harass a bit. We got the Acolyte Scout looking for skeletons. Since the Acolyte is going along the bottom here looking for skeletons, he might actually be planning to creep something first. Seeing this sheep here though, he might end up just going across the map. Like if there's no skeletons here, you're not going to creep, so he's probably just going to harass at the start instead. Let's see, it is the Demon Hunter. So, no entangle shenanigans. Um, actually, Eugene could go for a fast ex expo, and that would be pretty strong. Fast expand against Demon Hunter is pretty good. Sadly, the sheep didn't do him any favors, so he won't have skeletons right away unless it continues to walk out. Let's see what happens. So he is going to go across the map, and he picks Aura first so that mana burn isn't a problem. I actually think... I mean, I guess picking Aura first right away is fine. Sometimes you almost want to wait. Get him to use a mana burn first and then let them decide after if they want to keep burning or not. Yeah, this is what I do as well as Undead. Town is under um, ooh, bit of a mistake by a lion losing a wisp here. Must have put it on a tree that was too close. I do think uh, for Eugene. The play should be to either have some sort of army of ghouls that can actually do something, or pressure with a naga on tier 2, something like that, so that you can potentially take out some of these archers around, around the tier 2 timing. Otherwise, the elf has too much potential to just creep with these archers and defend gargs and so on. And it looks like... Siege. I mean, he could just Players be going into fiends. Just with five ghouls rather than like three or four. But we'll see what he decides to do. So tech timing is slightly favorable for the undead, but I think that's pretty standard. Generally, when I've played as well, the undead gets their naga like five seconds before me at least. And it's really awkward because then they sometimes just block off the tavern and you're sitting there like, how do I play the game? <laughs> we'll see what happens. So, so far the Death Knight hasn't got much. She got a wisp from somewhere. I didn't actually see which one fell, but probably when the skeletons were split harassing. And he's uh, creeping in the meantime, so that's good. He has a good amount of wood before doing this, so no problem there. A player's forces are under and that'll get him close to level 2. Uh, the DH, however, is already level 2. And going to be working towards level 3. Once he gets to 3, that's when the elf can start really putting pressure. And the elf actually expanded on the side as well. Uh, Tree of Life 
a bit in an exposed position, but in a position that isn't always checked as well. The Death Knight never made it over here. And that's actually going to be pretty powerful because Eugene's going to have a hard time stopping this now that he scouted it so late. And I'm unsure of how he's really going to come back into this. I think the only play now is to actually tech right now, stop Garg production, and go into Frenzy Ghouls and two, two more heroes, Naga Lich. Because otherwise, he's never going to get anything done against this expansion and, what is it, like seven archers? He needed to either get his Lich first and start killing some archers before Lion got his, or get his Naga first and start killing archers before Lion got his Naga. Or cancel the expo in the first place if he had been able to spot it. But now this army is a little too small. Maybe if the second set of Gargs had been ghouls. I mean, we'll see. Like, it is uprooted, so there's a small chance you can still get it. But it will come with heavy losses, because this is actually a decently large archer army. And you really need quite a few more ghouls to stop that. Plus, the Death Knight is only level 1, half health, there's no second hero. So, yeah, as we can see, you can't get much done here. I think if he had tech tier 3, Instantly, he'd be in pretty good shape here. But currently, it's a little awkward. Essentially these gargs aren't the gargs aren't going to get enough done. Um, I do think it's fine to make a couple. But yeah, hitting tier three, getting frenzy ghouls would have benefited him a lot more. And then just adding two heroes, whether it be Naga Lich or like Lich Tinker, and then pushing would have been very powerful because it would have been before the expansion really started to pay off and you could pick off a ton of archers with that sort of army which means if lion doesn't add in dryads by then you'd be in terrible shape And I don't think he is adding in dryads yet, it's just archers. And even dryads can fall if you have, you know, two to four gargs added in with the friend sequels. Yeah, we'll see we'll see how this progresses. He might just opt for continuing the tier two crypt mass, but I think if he continues with mostly gargs, it's going to be rough. Especially without like statue, second hero, and his ghouls don't have frenzy. It's going to be rough to break through this. Now if you get a second hero like a Naga um, and a level 2 Death Knight at least, then it becomes a bit easier to actually pick off some of this stuff. But currently he has a level 1 Death Knight, no second hero. He only has like 4 or 5 ghouls. And you really want like six probably 
So... Yeah. I guess we just wait currently for Lion to finish whatever it is Lion's doing. I would like to be able to check his base again, but apparently you can't do anything in the game's pause. What does he mean, fathers? What? Fathers, are you there? What? A player's forces are under. So yeah, this could be a good timing for Eugene. But like I said, I do think it would help if he had a second hero, or maybe waited on his timing a bit to get a third hero or cool frenzy. As is though, the Gargs aren't going to do much on their own. As we can see, his Death Knight also had not healed enough yet. And was quickly taken out by this mass of our troops. So I think just not enough ghouls to deal with this. Player's forces are under attack. And you really want your own Naga, or at least a Lich, I guess. A town is under siege. Ideally, you'd like to pick off some of these archers before Elf even hits tier 2, because you can get your Naga before they do as undead. You know, we see continued production of Gargs. So the hope for Eugene is going to be either trying to sneak in a counter expansion at some point now, or... As we can see, just continued delay of this and picking off Wisps. However, I don't think it's going to work out too well because there is a lot of archers already. And he doesn't have no, much to pick off archers anymore. Because he doesn't really have a ghoul force. He's not going tier 3 for Frenzy. Um, he's not adding in extra heroes. So, honestly, this is how I play sometimes, but I think this is more old school and just isn't as efficient anymore because of how good archers are. A town is under siege. Uh, when archers were a little weaker and people were a bit worse at like creeping and stuff too, I think this was fine. But yeah, this is going to be rough. There's an Orb of Venom on a level 3 DH already. And now I'm I'm very unsure of how Eugene is going to come back into this. Because the level 3 DH attack. can currently take on like his whole army. So all Lion has to do is get a couple of these protectors up, get his mine running, and you'll be fine. Uh, for a lion side, he should try to get a teleportation staff, probably. And uh, you know, he should get the night off staff plus the staff of Telly. And so he can uh, staff to his main with the demon hunter, and then either staff back or staff to his expo after if needed. Yeah. See the power here. You can get only one volley off and then like the guard just drops basically. 
And this Owl Scout is actually pretty good for this. Just being able to spot where the Gargs are at. And likely being able to scout ex counter expos later is going to make this really rough. Um, I think this guard should be cancelled. Well, I mean, I guess he needs something to round out to 45 food. Add in the third hero. You know? But I think, I think his only chance here is honestly to go into Frenzy the Ghouls, A Bomb attacked. Disease Cloud, and hope that his mass with Tri Hero is enough against the likely 60 70 supply elf army. But it's going to be really rough with just so many cards. Oh, he's actually getting rid of archers. I get that it was because he wanted to be below 50 food. But at the same time, I feel like he could have just broke 50 and continued producing if he had wanted. So I'm, I'm unsure if it was needed. I think, like I said, he could have just taken the upkeep loss, push past 50 and had a extremely formidable mass building up for And yeah, Eugene is going to try for the counter expo. It is going to be extremely hard to ever get this up, but we'll see if we can get it done. And yeah, Lion's already here to scout it. Guard's falling quickly, but the ghouls are getting in on the archers, and this could actually be a decent fight for Eugene. Uh, however, the Death Knight was weak and ends up dying. So the goal here for Eugene should be to pick off the archers and get out with his hero. Before, yeah, it got focused and dies too quickly. Honestly, Eugene's army wasn't even too bad for that fight. But his Death Knight and the levels were There's just a little too attack. low comparatively. Uh, Orb of Venom already for Lion. And even though there was a bunch of archers dying right away, um, it was just not enough to really come back into it. We'll see how he changes it up for game two. And potentially game three if he wins game two. But I, th I believe if there's that many archers, he should try for a Naga second, pressure the archers with some ghouls, and then add in gargs later, particularly if there is uh, Dryads coming out. All right, game two, Concealed Hill. Let's see what happens. In the top right, we got the blue Night Off going with an Alter First build. It's Lion. Likely going to see DH or Keeper again. Probably just DH, I would assume. If he also went DH on this refuge. Oh no no. Could go keeper here. Keeper is pretty decent on this map. Being able to pull the null. And then at the bottom left, we got the yellow undead, Eugene. Also going Alter Crypt again. So cool build. 
No. Let's see how he changes it up. Does he make a few more ghouls? Does he add in a second crypt and do a ghoul rush? Does he fast expo if he finds out Lion's getting a DH? Um, yeah. Does he scout the expo if Lion puts up an expo on the side again? So it is the DH. And almost certainly Death Knight again. Okay. So similar opening as last game. Now it's just going to come down to execution. Does he... Does he go for an expansion? Since it, it's a it's a demon hunter that can't effectively stop an expansion? Or... Does he just tech again, go into Gargs, and potentially get punished by archers? Um, I would like to see either tech into Naga Ghoul Frenzy or Fast Expo. So he sees the Demon Hunter. Now right here, with when you see the Demon Hunter and your Death Knight comes out, you could quickly just Fast Expo if you have skeletons to use. I mean you could potentially creep something small first and then Fast Expo I guess. Uh, you definitely take a lot of damage doing the Fast Expo with only like three ghouls on this map. Four ghouls. But you can get it off. You'd have to invest your coils, but you'd get to level two, have aura. DH would have a tough time stopping it. And he's just going to creep. Now... The Wisp is a bit late by Lion. He really should have checked this sooner. Because Eugene could have been fast exploiting here and could have already been mostly finished with it. Uh, Lion does end up getting three skeletons though, so... Somehow it ends up working out, but it definitely could have been much worse. And Eugene is going for the quick tech again. Um, so his timing is... This time it's a slightly slower tech. A player's forces are under attack. Maybe he missed his timing, not sure. But it's actually slightly slower than Lion's. So if they fight for a Naga at the tavern, uh, Lion's will actually come out first and that could be quite awkward. Okay, level 2 for the Death Knight is pretty huge. Doing a little split creeping. Nicely keeps all the ghouls alive. He's looking to pick up the item. Escape with the ghouls before the elf gets there. And we're going to see one more mana burn come off and then he'll back off, I think. He's actually just going to chase in. I mean, he can. There technically isn't an Arubian. But it's not going to do much, unless Eugene lets him. <clears throat> because... is he... <clears throat> he actually is actually able to get the graveyard cancelled. That's pretty huge. Honestly, for Eugene, I don't even mind. I think it'd be better for him to get more ghouls, probably. Okay, maybe not. This game, this game Lion is definitely going to add in lores. He only has like, what, three, three archers. He lost one, I believe. So canceling the graveyard is actually huge for Lion. Um, I think I would like Eugene to just hit the button for tier three instantly and go into like dual slaughter A-bombs, honestly. And he does, he goes, it's the tier three instantly. Lion on the other hand, maybe going to build a couple wisps and then tech tier three, yeah, two wisps as the lures. <coughs> okay, so we do got a lich coming out this time. Uh, could go Naga first, but with only, is, is there only one archer left? 
I didn't even see that he picked off a couple. Or no, there is still the other two. Okay, so there is still three. He didn't pick them off. He just picked off the one at the start. <coughs> so... A player's forces are under attack. Yeah, I do think... A Naga could be good here, but... Um, it's not exactly needed either. You can still get Naga third. It just means you can't do as much pressure right now. He does prevent the creeping though, so that's good. And Lion's using up his Frost Arrow, which is also really good for Eugene. Uh, uh, he does start his tech though. So Eugene's tech will be a little bit faster this time for tier 3 than Lion's. But we'll have to see what they go into. It looks like he's planning to go Fiends. Honestly, like I said, I would... I think I would prefer just double Slaughterhouse. He probably needs to set it up like now though, if he's going to. He needs to set up at least one Slaughterhouse now. He's getting a bit distracted with this pressure. Okay, he does set up the one Slaughter. And this is actually pretty, uh, pretty awkward. I'm not sure if I agree with popping the heal potion there. I do think buying one is fine, but popping it and popping it on the Lich and not the Death Knight is probably a bit questionable. You'd rather hit tier three and coil the Lich or hit level three and coil the Lich. Okay, so at this time he is going into Fiends just one slaughter, likely statues and one A bomb with the Seas Cloud later. But Lion also hit good timings and will be level 3 Demon Hunter after the next camp. Or potentially a middle pole. He goes for that. Uh, is he looking to be aggressive or go to the town is under mountain? Looks like he's trying to be aggressive. Not sure how well this will work out for him. Uh, the Death Knight is low health. And Eugene's going for the pull. But he can just stop the pull. Oh, Lion actually backs off and doesn't see it. Eugene's actually going to be able to get this in time. Uh, he's going to be a little weak on his units from the shockwave, but he's actually in decent shape. However, Doomhorn is not the item you want to see. It seems to be the item you always see as undead. This lich? Okay. Oh, he goes for the uh, offensive coil, but the uh, invul comes out, saves the naga. Didn't get a rejuve on it, and there is master training now. This lich does have unholy aura, but is going to get sheep blocked. Yikes. This item's actually saving the lich. <laughs> because he found unholy aura, the lich was actually fast. Oh, but somehow the drag catches up. Nice block coming out. Uh, statue's going to take a little bit of damage. Actually, a lot of damage because of the Frost Arrow. Does manage to save it, but with Bear Form coming out, this could be a little bit rough. You really don't want to be this weak on your heroes right now. And uh, I'm not seeing a good way to safely defend this crypt. He does have Ghoul Frenzy. Okay, so he can, he can actually stop stop this pressure. There's only like one roar on this bear. Destroyer form coming out though. Okay, he goes for the rejuve instead. A little bit more mana and he can go back into bear form. So Lion's already almost 50 food. He only has one dryad so destroyers can put a lot of pressure on, on these bears once he gets them out. 
Uh, but he and he does get a Naga third. He's looking for an Expo maybe, or just trying to steal creep and creep check. It looks like he was thinking Lion would creep over here somewhere maybe, but Lion actually takes the rest of the center. Only XP there because Eugene already got the item. Uh, Eugene should sell the item. I feel like he forgot. Or maybe he's going to sell it now. But you definitely should sell the Doom Horn. Especially before you break 50 food. Get that extra gold out of it rather than having upkeep effect. A town is under siege. And yeah, I, w I would think the best would be... Oh, he's actually just going for the tree. Uh, will this work? I do not believe so. The bears are going to come in and they're going to come in hard. Oh, morph. Morph and run over the tree. And luckily, because there's only one dryad, this destroyer can actually get away. We see a wind coming out. So, Lion's actually opting for Mass Bears, one Dryad for Abolish to Abolish Frost Armor, and then he's going to add in Hippos to deal with the Destroyers. And it's probably a decent choice. Uh, this is not a fight Eugene can take currently. So he should TP out like right away. Or if Lion lets him run away, I guess he can do that. But he's going to try to hit and run the base again. There is another TP on Lion. But I don't think he will want to TP here. So he can probably just... Uh, Eugene can probably just deal damage, kill off some Wisps, and then TP out. I think that'd be good. He could potentially even throw away a hero here if he wanted. Is he going to pass the TP to the Lich and then go? Oh wait, he tries to block. The Lich does die. However, economically, he's actually dealt quite a big blow. Like, Lion has six Wisps total, unless there's any on the map, which I don't think there are. I think he just has six Wisps total. And he doesn't actually have much wood. So his next, like, like 400 gold or so is just going to be in Wisps. Unless he manages to go for a Shredder after a couple Wisps. And he has to repair his tree. So this is actually not bad for Eugene. Uh, it does suck to lose the Lich. Because you'd really like to level it up to 3 alongside the Naga. But... This can definitely work out for him. And he is adding A-bombs now. Um, I think one A-bomb is fine with Disease Cloud. Looks like he's adding multiple. I do think he's going to need magic damage, even though you're going to be against Hippos. Um, I guess he only has a couple Fiends, so it would be awkward to spend for web. But, yeah, I didn't actually see who got the XP there, but the item is going to go to Lion. Sobe Mask, not bad, but I think as Elf you generally just prefer Auras rather than Mana. Uh, we see a fight coming out, and this is not favorable for Eugene at all. His army is a bit crippled. We see a Destroyer and a Fiend going down right away. And he just doesn't have enough to deal with the bears right now. I think he can have enough if he just went for a bit more destroyers and then chain morph for them with mana. He could nuke like multiple bears right at the start and get them out of the fight and then pick off the other three remaining or four or whatever after the staffs go off. Uh, Naga does fall. So that's going to hurt a lot. I do think Eugene is in a good spot, and he's still not in the worst spot. But these elf heroes are getting 
pretty good levels now. Uh, there's no upgrades for Lion. Players forces are and I guess hippos are actually a pretty good solution. Why is there a pendant of energy? <laughs> when did that happen? Does he see it? I think he sees it. He he doesn't see it. Big yikes. So if he can get level four three. This would help a lot. I'm not sure how many creeps are left at the fountain. I think it's enough to get level 4 DK though. Bendin? Ben Bendin? Oh, he does pick it up. That can actually help a lot. It's probably like, wait, where'd that come from? Uh, from Lion, he really needs some upgrades actually. Kind of hurts being at 56 food like this, taking upkeep losses, and not having upgrades on these bears, hippos, triads. Uh, Eugene still is in an okay spot, but I believe he's going to need. Okay, he does have two destroyers to morph now. I would like to probably see a third even, and Please Web. I'm not sure if he got Web. I would assume he has it. But maybe he's just going to ignore the hippos, which is also very viable. Hippos in low numbers are not that huge of a deal against destroyers, simply because destroyers have quite a lot of armor, three plus an extra two from the devotion, as well as 850 health. So hippos don't exactly kill them crazy fast with that health and armor pool. Okay, he's chain morphing already. Uh, a little odd, considering he doesn't actually see the elf. And... Well, I guess there is an expansion though for him to cancel. I would actually like him to not use up the mana from the destroyers until the elf army is here. Okay, so now this is good. Uh, yeah, he has the three destroyers. The A-bomb's in front. He's nuking the bears wisely. And now you just focus the bears down. You ignore the hippos. Take the losses on your destroyers. And just make sure the bears are out of the fight. Level 4 DK. That's huge. And as we can see, the bears dropping quickly. There's only one left. The destroyer's also dropping. But... When it's hippos against ghouls A-bombs, it turns out ghouls A-bombs do a lot more than hippos do in this sort of fight. Uh, the scary thing is, Lion does still have high level heroes at 5-4, so this could very well go in Elf's favor still, depending on the hero focus here. And we do see an invul coming out from the Lich, saves that, but Demon Hunter continuing to whack away. So the goal here for Eugene is to get the Demon Hunter low and try to save his own heroes. He does get the DH low, but I do not think he will be able to get it. Maybe he can get the Naga. Not able to catch up. And there is actually a lot of Moonwells left. And not only that, but there's Riju coming out. Oof. This was so close for him. But I think Lion's going to be able to stabilize here with the Riju. Assuming he doesn't get his DH surrounded and killed past the staff. He doesn't get the staff past. Is he going to get the Naga surrounded too? Does not get the Naga surrounded. But the Naga is still alive and Fork Lightning will actually be able to deal with these ghouls. So Lion's actually in a good spot still. He has his staffed bears and the new bears coming out. And they will be able to deal with this much better now. Because there's no destroyers left. Uh, Lich halfway to back, coming back. And right now Undead just has no mana. Going to have to make statues, wait for the Lich. And level 3 Forked Lightning is going to hurt a lot. 
it's one of the things that really uh lets elf kill the fiends or frontline pretty quickly once you have that level three forked lightning combined with just a high level dh and some bears that's when you can really start to just push through the army and out damage the statue heal plus unholy aura so now i believe eugene is in a really awkward spot <clears throat> It's all going to come down to one final push. Um, I think... I think you sell the TP, you sell the Sentry Ward, you unsummon the Relics and the Altar, and you produce as much as you can. Possibly buy Mana Potion before then. And possibly by heal scroll. But yeah, this is going to be rough. I think uh, I think Lion managed to stabilize. A town is under siege. And he has a player's level five five heroes, demon hunter back out. And there's just too many bears without the destroyer morph this time. The previous fight was, I think, well done with the the chain destroyer morph. He had three destroyers with mana and was able to do a lot but now it's going to be rough so he can take out the tree and tp here but he lost a destroyer or he lost a fiend plus a statue had to use his tp and then elf can just walk over the eternity he is putting up an expansion in the meantime so rather than doing an all-in like i was suggesting he is trying to counter expo and now this kind of forces Lion to push across the map and fight on Blight. However, I do believe Lion's army is strong enough to do so, especially because there won't be a tower up in time. And it looks like that's what he's going to do. He never actually got upgrades. Uh, one armor or, and or damage upgrade would have actually been pretty huge. But... I guess he just never found the right moment for it. Maybe because he also lost a bunch of wisps in the mid game. A town is under yeah. We see Eugene adding in a statue. However, he's not going to be able to make any sort of army here. I think going for the all in. Well, I think this is actually probably his best chance of winning but I also think this is very unlikely to work and as we can see Lion quickly came across dismantled it and now he's in a bad spot so I think if he all in and like sold altar relics produced a bunch and got mana potions tried to just nuke heroes I think that would have been the better shot but See what happens. Oh, he does nuke here, so he gets the demon hunter half health, but a rejuve coming in, devour instantly, man. Does get the devour off. This DH actually has to get out. However, there's still not enough to really deal with the bears. He does have two Destros, but one's half health. There's a couple triads, a couple hippos, and the DH has a staff to get right back in. Full health from the moon walls. Uh, kind of a poor fork lightning but ooh, dh getting weak again and this is i mean this is his chance like you have to go for the hero kills because you can't really fight this army with the level five heroes also here uh he's so close to getting the nova off i I've, i swear i've seen nova's hit from longer range than that oh he's getting a block from the ghoul he got it that's a dh and he's not even mining yet for Lion. This is actually Eugene's chance if he can somehow... Look at that free bear kill. Now you have to go for the Naga. There is a invuln and no mana left really. Like maybe one fort. But 
that's that's what you have to do. You just have to go for the Naga and try to get the kill and level up. He has his own invuln, saves his Naga. He has a fort. Uh, what does he buy? He doesn't. He doesn't actually buy anything because he doesn't have gold. He's not mining. He's not mining. Kill the now you just kill the dryads with your heroes and let the destroyers kill the bears by themselves. Well, technically the bears can just sit at the fountain and they would not die to these destroyers. But <laughs> he's he's getting it done, dude. What is this? This is crazy. Just take out the heroes, lol. <laughs> uh Lion was in such a good spot, but he, he just needed to protect his heroes a little bit more and he and like I said he wasn't mining during that time So he actually has a rough path to get his heroes back. He has to He has to either get like 400 more gold and tavern rebuy Or he has to do a very long altar revive Now he does still have what three bears This is actually Really tense. I'm unsure of what the proper play is from Eugene. Uh, you definitely want to use this Acolyte and unsummon. You want to unsummon Zig, Zig, Alter, and either... Yeah, you probably want to produce a Haunted Gold Mine. Unsummon Zig, Zig, Alter, and produce a Haunted. He should have already had it going. But yeah, now... He either, he either needs to stop the mining. Well, yeah, he needs to stop the mining and he needs to counter expand right now. Oh, he does manage to get the DH back and this is actually... This is actually looking in Lion's favor again, maybe? How, if he can get some nukes off and there isn't actually much Moonwells, this DH is actually in trouble again. If he dies again... Oh my god, he died again! That might be it! Oh my god! How did he get that, dude? This was a nuts game! Eugene had no business winning this like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> what? And the score is 1 to 1. Final map AZ. I'm not sure how much time I have left to cast though, because the dream hack is starting. Uh, let me check. What is there? So I have to wait for a match, then potentially Soul Glider, and then potentially either Mythos or Reset, probably. Um, seems like a pretty tough bracket, actually. However, I did dodge Believe and Phil Boys for mirror matchups, so maybe that's good. Yeah, the bottom bracket's not too bad. It's mostly just mirror matchups are annoying. Yeah, I do think. Who are they? They rate A, E, B, and Phil Boys pretty high. They rated them both higher than me last time too. But I don't actually know how good A, E, B is. And I built, I beat Phil Boys two one the the only time I've played him. So I don't know. Okay, so we see Alter Crypt coming out. Ghoul build again. And altar for uh, lion. So likely same openings. Likely demon hunter against death knight. And we'll see if Eugene can pull this off. I would like to see him invest more into ghouls again. Uh, either into frenzy or a ghoul rush on this map, maybe. I definitely think a ghoul rush on this map just to kind of pressure early can do a lot. You don't even have to... 
you don't even have to like get building kills you just need to kind of get the archers to run away and then kill a bunch of wisps uh the, he can buy a shredder later but you can also snipe the shredder later once you get gargs on tier two i think it's pretty strong as long as you micro well enough to not lose your ghouls early, I've definitely seen players' forces are under attack. Uh, sometimes where, like the elf is able to get so many ghouls to like no health, but if they're all microed out of the fight, like the undead just casually heals them up on blight while they're finishing their tech, and then just attacks again afterwards, and suddenly you can't stop the second push with the tier two hero. Uh, Naga or whatever it may be. Hmm. Maybe I should try more pulls like that. However, it looks like the lightning shield doesn't actually work too well. Yeah, I think I prefer my pull. He's taking a lot of damage on this AOW. He should probably move the wisp, eat the tree. Yeah, he does move the wisp and eat the tree. And this is actually... Quite awkward for a lion. Archer has already taken 157 damage. DH took 155 damage. Uh, he had to repair rather than purely just eating a tree. You can actually do these without repairing at all, ideally. And now, if he uses them, I think uh, a mistake I make is I heal this archer, but I think what you really want to do is just hide it in the back and not use the moon wells on it, at least not now, maybe later. Because you want the moon wells available in, this, in case you need them on your DH. Okay, Eugene on the other side, gets the creep off, already level 2, uh, cloak circlet, which is fine against circlet mantle. I would say items are quite even. The cloak can actually be extremely good. You can hide against the DH to avoid mana burns uh, and keep your D your your death knight into the fight. Uh, he does get six ghouls this time, with a seventh ghoul coming. So likely, what I said, where you might might want to put a little bit more pressure with ghouls. He isn't going like dual crypt all in, but he is probably going to keep pressure with the ghouls at tier 2. So I'm thinking we might actually see the Naga second this time, which can be very good, both against DH and Archers. Um, Lion finished off with Creep with just Archers, however, does need to be a little bit careful with this Archer. I think it might die because he's too busy with Micro and his DH. Oh, he did manage to Micro that in the meantime. And his DH is so close, so close, dude. Uh, does escape. Uh, Eugene can creep this really quickly, I think. The archers are a bit split up. The DH has to heal. And this is actually pretty good for Eugene. This will get, is this level three or is it just short? I think it's just short. Actually, it might be level three. I don't really know. How much a level 5 gives? Is it like 80 XP or something? He might be like one small creep away, but he has to actually outlast hit the DH here. And that's actually a tough problem. It is, oh my god. It is level 3, exactly level 3. And that's huge. That's huge. You're, you're level 3 already against the elf. The... I mean, the elf is already level 3 as well, though, which generally benefits the elf more, having demon hunter level 3. If it's a keeper, I mean, keeper is also strong at level 3, but probably less of an annoyance than level 2 mana burns. Um, and, and he is going fiends, actually. So he got quite a lot of ghouls, but he's converting to fiends. And he's adding a Lich rather than a Naga. So he, I do think a Naga with his seven ghouls he had would have been good against this. 
There's like five archers. You could have put quite a lot of pressure, I think. But, you know, now it's a little late for that. And he's just going to go into a tier three tech timing. We'll see what happens. Um, Player's forces are under attack. Does still have a rod. Passes the circlet. Ooh, ancient war going into the creeps. Is this pokey playing? Question mark. He's putting up double lore. This fight's actually. Oh, he goes frost armor first. I'm not sure if I agree with that because there's really only the demon hunter that you're looking to slow with it. I really would have liked to see either Naga second or Nova. I mean, Frost Armor is good against the DH, but Lion's not actually looking to fight here, which is kind of why you want either Frost Arrow or Nova to pick stuff off. Like, if Lion took these fights... Okay, he is actually coming back in. Then maybe Frost Armor has some value. Yeah, Frost Armor has a little bit more value now if Lion's actually taking these fights, I guess. Ooh, wisp. Wisp. Uh, with the two Dryads coming in, Lion's actually not in a terrible spot. But his DH is weak already, so he can't stay too long. Because the DH will fall quite quickly if he moves into the middle of this army. And as we can see, now he has to back off. He's losing some archers. Trying to get the DK, it's just, it's just a tough fight between whose first hero falls lower health. As we can see though, the DH is going to have to TP, I think. Maybe? Ooh, he does actually manage to escape. Uh, there's no boots though, so the aura keeps up with him. And yeah, this fight was kind of something. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. It's a little bit messy on both sides where I feel like I feel like there should have been Nova or Frost Arrow from the undead side. But I also feel like the elf side maybe shouldn't have even fought. Maybe the elf should fight because there was only Frost Armor and not Nova or Frost Arrow. Okay, now we're hitting the timing where Undead's in a decent spot. He's gonna pick up his orb. The problem is his Death Knight is a bit crippled right now. And he can't actually creep too effectively. Because he's going to have like one coil only. And you would no you don't even want to use the coil really. You wanna save your mana up so that you can take a fight against the army. Whoa. Oh, this camp hurts. You gotta be really careful. Cool Frenzy coming out. With Cool Frenzy coming out, it actually quite hurts to lose a ghoul like that. You'd like to have every ghoul you can for that. Ooh, he misses. He misses Lion, and then his army split up. Yikes. Ruined Bracer is not going to be too great here. You have to TP right away, I think. I do not believe you want to fight this elf army. There is no staff though, and only an invul, no TP. Yeah, he's going to lose the naga. He does force the invul and possibly picks off an archer. So maybe not like a terrible... Okay, so the archer gets denied. You know, the, the trade wasn't like terrible. Archer and invul for naga. But giving XP... Obviously not ideal. However, leveling up DK and Lich is fine anyways. You mostly just need the Frost Arrow for Naga to begin with. Uh, level 2 Forks can be nice for New King later, but... Yeah. Lion looking to see if there was anything to clean up, but it was actually already prepped fully. Eugene already finished his camp. Um, the Dryad might be able to get something here. Okay, so he's going for the nuke right away, but he doesn't actually have mana to actually nuke. And I don't think 
I don't think this is the type of fight Eugene really wants to take. His army's not that weak, but his heroes just don't have mana. And you really need mana to do something in this fight. Uh, he gets the Naga surround, but his Naga's also surrounded. Okay. Okay. Level 3 Lich. Ooh, goes for the burn on the statue. It does get the kill, but that also means there's a Nova coming out now, which could get both these bears. Oh, just a little too late. I think he had a timing to hit the Nova, which would have killed both bears. But... He just didn't get it off in time. Maybe he didn't see that his Lich just hit the mana mark. His Lich was at like 125, 126, 127. Uh, looks like he might still pick off these bears though. Yeah, he will pick off the bears and he drains the wells. So in the end, it still worked out. Not a bad spot for Undead, but the DH is level four and getting kind of scary. Got a Rejuve coming off. He's going to need Destroyers at some point. And he really needs Statues as well to just get his mana back up. Uh, Creepwise is probably a little bit favorable for Lion, especially if he can get a Greater Heal or a Invuln from this camp. We'll see what he what he happens to find. Um, it is the greater heal, and that is not what you want to see as the undead player, because he nuking heroes might be one of his answers again in this game. Oh, this is going to hurt. He's not even going to get the. Oh, he does. Take, he does get the coil off. Might force the greater heal? No, just gonna be a rejuve. Or double rejuve. I was thinking Lion would actually just fight this, but now that he's taking so much damage, he has to just back off. Um, does he have a T? Yeah, there is a TP on Eugene, so going for this camp is actually really good. I think you just go straight in, brute force it, get the item, and then TP out if needed. I think pulling it gives too much time. Where if the elf was efficient with healing, could have I think the elf could have been like here already. Uh, this does position him kind of safely to just back off without TPing, but because of dryads, you would have to TP anyways, right? So yeah, I think I think it would have been better for him to just force the camp and TP out. Because he's going to have to TP out now anyways, right? Or he's going to lose multiple fiends. You have to TP, dude. TP. TP. Oh no, he unburrowed early. Unburrow. Okay, nice. He only lost one fiend. That went better than... <laughs> yeah, Vampire Ruined Bracers. Not ideal. Sells them both. Uh... Sold them both at 54 food, which is actually a little awkward because you get like less gold from upkeep when you sell stuff. But he couldn't cancel anything because there was a fiend and not like... Yeah, the, the, the statue was already almost complete, so he would have had to cancel the almost completed statue plus the fiend. Which is probably not worth just for the sell price. Okay, so he does get him does have double mana potion this time. This could actually be pretty strong for Eugene. He's at 60 food against 50. He has double mana potion. He has level 432. He's actually in a decent spot. He has frenzy destroyer form. Um disease cloud on the way with the A bomb. That's going to be huge. And I actually like Eugene's position a lot here. Uh, the key is to make sure the Demon Hunter doesn't hit level 5 right at the start somehow. Like, as long as he doesn't just feed some sort of units. Okay, so Lion does the smart thing. Gets Burns off and Rejuve. 
and that's that's kind of what you have to do yourself you have to go in get your burns off and then try to make use of rejuve before the fight actually takes place because you can't do it during the fight effectively it takes a lot of extra micro steps and time to do it and it can just get devoured so that's nice for him but like i said there is the mana potion still which will help out um, he will have one Coil Nova before the Mana Potions as well, so that's good. be nice to have maybe a little bit more mana, but... Yeah. This is a lot of bears and a couple hippos, so he does, he does prefer the hippos rather than just dryads. Maybe that's the right choice. Dryads can be quite slow at killing destroyers, and hippos can force web out. Uh, only like a couple of hippos don't actually kill destroyers fast enough to save the bears, but they will kill them over time. Ooh, and the naga gets out of place, instantly staffed out. I do think, I do think Eugene can still turn and fight this, but he, it will be tough because there is a lot of bears left and not much mana. Did he just coil a duel? Maybe just coil a duel. DH half health. This is actually pretty scary, elf farming. I think he just gave too much time. Elf is at 64 food. DH dropping weak, Lich also dropping weak. But there's no more mana on the undead heroes, and now this is where the bears just start to overrun this. I believe there was a timing where Eugene was ahead, but he couldn't find the right fighting position because he didn't want to push into the base with all the moon wells and lion ends up taking the win 2-1 for lion and lion will move on to the finals to face jedi who won last night against black phoenix